We're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. Right, try to throw me off my game, Just a huh? little bit. Yeah. This week, we've got a spooktacle lineup of blades from... Boker. Extreme Ratio. SC. Crudo. Lion Steel. Buck. And Finch Knives. Best start to a great weekend, knives. Mm. Well, let's get to the table. First up is the Buck Onset. Yeah. We started with the buck this week. We're going crazy. So this framework is barely over eight inches overall. Yeah, I said over and overall in the same sentence. Get over it. <laughs> with a 3.4 inch drop point satin finish CPM S45 VN blade with jimping, full flat grind, and of course, Buck's Boss heat treatment. It's 0 0.12 inches thick and is deployed with the flipper stud. Yeah, there it is, peeps. Operates on ball bearing pivot system. The handle on this bad boy has a black textured G10 front and a stonewash stainless back with tip up pocket clip and barrel spacer. It's made in the good old USA. USA. This folder, there yeah. you go. Also comes with a black drawstring pouch, a yeah. box, and it weighs just 4.9 ounce. And, and it's just $179.99. Adelandknife.com. There we go. Yeah. So, go ahead. I get to go first? Yep. <coughs> well, I like this knife a lot. It's very, uh, what I would call hinderish. Hinderish. Yep. Um, the nice G10. It is nice G10. I'll give it that. The back being, you've seen this before on yeah. uh, cryos and everything hinderish uh, done for a Kershaw. Well, I like how smoothly it opens, okay? The steel at S45 VN, that must be a new thing that we're doing now. And made in the USA. Come on. Now, it is kind of dull in color, and it's not a super new design idea. But, you know, it's not bad. You know, it's a good step for Buck, you know, upping their quality. So, hmm. I like it. All right. So, next blade is the Finch Cherry Bomb. Aha! Which is offered in two versions. Yep. Fire Red. Yeah. And Smoke Black. White. This knife is 6 point. 25 inch overall with a 2.6 inch 154 cm satin finish jimped blade that is 0.9 inch thick and it's open via the jimp clipper stud. Hold on, ready? I'm waiting on you. Oh, look at that. Got it. Yeah. Handle is. Wait, which one you got there? This Okay, one. this one's handle is red at bone. Yep. While the smoke is resin. Yep. Each sports a tip up titanium pocket clip. That's nice. Yeah, I know. The Finch logo Yay. was designed in Steelwell, Kansas, and comes with a box Hold and on. Hold on. stickers. Only problem with these. We don't want you to break a nail. <gasps> Look. So, buddy. Oh, it comes in a band aid, too. I Look. forgot that. Look at Can't tell you how many stickers. times Jules used that. Light up your 4th of July or your holiday season. For a day just for $135 at edlandingknife.com. Shameless plug look, number look two. Look at those stick. Look at this sticker. And it's nice, isn't it? You know, Mitt can not only Finch make a great killer knife, okay? But they can market it. Pun intended. No. But they can make some great stickers, okay? Look, look at this. I mean, their, their knives are always, I know, I'm going on a sticker tangent here, but they're always high quality, super smooth op opening, okay? I really like Finch's knives. Snappy, snazzy options like Firebone and Smoke. Come on. And 154CM. Come on, son. Come on. Well, I am the same way. I really like them, too. They don't really make anything I don't like. Um, <sighs> there's just versions of how much I there like them. That's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so let's move on. No, Our next knife I don't want to move on. is the infamous okay. Boker Ice Pick Dagger. Is it infamous now? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I guess I'll uh, decent pick for Halloween. Uh huh. There's a pun. Pick. pick you yeah. got it. Yeah. So this carry is 7.17 inches overall with a 3.23 inch VG10 blade that is 0 0.13 inches thick. Opened with removable blue anodized thumb disc. There it is. Handle on this liner lock is black <laughs> carbon fiber. 
along with the spacer. The stainless steel liner, screws, and handle accent all feature the ice blue anodization, <coughs> along with the machined titanium tip up right carry pocket clip. Yep. Very ergonomic, re some recesses on both sides of the handle. This Chuck Griffin <coughs> design is perfect for any work you might have. It also comes with a black nylon storage case, and it's offered at landknife.com for only $122.96. Yeah. We should high five after we do that. <gasps> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll let you go first. What are your thoughts on this? Let me go first. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not a VG10 snob. I like it. Me too. I think it's a fine steel. I always have. Snob. Well, you know, <laughs> those exist. It, it it bothers me just a little bit because when VG10 was really popular a few years ago, mm -hmm. oh, it's great. Everybody loved it. Now it's now like, it's like oh, it's, it's not VG2. Yeah, I know. And I don't and think it's, it's not no. no. I like this knife. I mean, they like the accents. The carbon fiber is nice. It's gonna make a decent knife for me. Now it does kind of remind me of a dagger, just in like the shape. Mm -hmm. But I usually think of a dagger as a fixed blade, and I prefer the dual-sided dagger blades as well. I'm not sure if I would actually call this a dagger. I can see why they did, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't put dagger. To so you go spear us. point and yeah, forget the dagger part, or like a, a stiletto-like blade. I know that's not to say I don't like it, because I do. I I really like the blue anodization they got on everything. The titanium pocket clip's nice, mm -hmm. and. When, I don't know what Boker's doing, but they are doing an excellent job with their carbon fiber. I don't know how, how they make it look. It always looks better. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my personal preference, but it's top notch. Okay, it always so looks, it looks nice. better than the uh, Chinese carbon fiber. Any other carbon fiber I've mm -hmm. seen, yeah. So, and fits the hand pretty well too. I don't think I have. Do you have anything else to add? I don't have anything. All right. Oh, and I like their their pouches. They're really nice. Yeah, They're that like was a nice little change for them, wasn't it? High quality pouch here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that means we're going to hit our next knife, the Extrema Ratio T4000S. But first... Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring that bell. All so you can get the dish on AK content and be entered in our giveaways. Speaking of spooktacle giveaways, mm -hmm. it's time to announce the winners of the Mystery Steel Wheel Drew Giveaway. I know you've all been holding your breaths. Right? I have been. Just let it That's out. Let it out. So, on the YouTube, the proud winner of a Steel Wheel Druid is none other than... Really? Bearded Blade Fanatic? I was going to cough during it again. Oh. <laughs> I feel like you should be wearing a beard right now. I'm just like stroking it like that. I'm like, I know who it is. And over on AK's blog. Had to get it in there. Yep. The winner of a Steel Wheel Druid is the Distinguished. Daryl Porter. Who may or may not have a beard. We don't know. Congratulations to all your prize to all you prize winners out there and thanks to all AKers who took part in our giveaways. As well as those who watch our videos and you know who you are. Whether you are in the back of a cab of a truck in the middle of Utah or you're sitting in your home in Wisconsin. Yeah, here. we wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So winners make sure to email sales at landknife.com to claim your winnings. For those of you who didn't win this time, well, guess what? Another chance. Yeah, I'm just like Freddy at killing Nancy. This Get time. One chance. <laughs> On both YouTube and AK's blog, we're giving away a Kaiser Infinity. Wait, don't tell me. A completely mystery random, random, yeah. random giveaway. Yeah. It goes on forever. <laughs> In turn into eternity. Yeah. Infinity. You could get a red Macarta, a blackout version. Or sometimes a black and white one. Yep. I we hear thought, this. I hear this is their favorite part of the video where is it? she gets mad at me. Oh yes, it's I, actually I, one of my favorite parts of the day. We too. thought since lots of people <laughs> seem to like front flippers that we should be fair and give one away. Mm. And by we, she meant me. Yeah, I did not concur. Yeah. Why did not concur? It'll be equal opportunity. I voted to give away one of those one of a kind Chris Reed knives. <laughs> I was thinking of you guys, okay? Okay. And then maybe yeah. that'll be a future giveaway. Yeah, a decade from now. <laughs> In an alternate universe. Yeah, where Chris Reed <laughs> knives are super budget friendly. <laughs> By then no one would want one, so yeah. kinda defeats the purpose. Okay, so giving away Kaiser Infinity, so make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as answer the AK trivia question, so you've got all 
your base is covered. Yeah, and you're not stuck behind a wall of chainsaws. Oh, wow. Let's hide behind the chainsaws. Smart. This was a good idea. Shh. I know. We're full of them, aren't we? Yeah, we are full of good ideas. Like this one <laughs> to focus on the next knife, the Extreme Ratio TS 4000S. Sounds like you're doing a Terminator. Am I? The T8000. Oh, T8 yeah. Well, I, was, I always go to my cousin Vinny with the, is that thing turbocharged? No, and then no. Floor model. Models. Yeah. So, not super, super new, guys, but we haven't been able to host it till now. So, I think it was an excellent pick wow. for Halloween. That is nice. If I do say so myself. See, you're on the specs. Sure thing. <laughs> so, this tactical blade is oh, just gosh. a hair really? under 12 inches. Really? Did you just? You knew where I got that from, didn't you? Just with a 6.8 inch bowler N690 steel blade with a M-I-L-O-C and then L-M-N-O-P <laughs> 13924 and it, that was code for you preppers out there yeah. uh, burnishing black finish that is 0.16 inch thick with a traditional Japanese profile flat grind and a tanto blade cut that's nice it also has a black Four preen handle, lanyard hole, comes in a black belt sheet. There it is, and I'll even put the knife in there for you. Oh, look at that. And maybe, ah, oh, the snaps. And this behemoth of a blade, made in Italy, could be yours for just $324.55. From EnlightenKnife.com. There's the ding. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Michael could wield this and not even have to tilt his head. You know how they do that? The whole... Mm -hmm. It makes it creepier. I don't know how. It just does. I'm not kidding. This blade is bad. Big enough to give you some leverage, but not too heavy that it's going to weigh down your pack. And do you notice anything else about this knife? Hmm? Do anybody, you want me to notice? Anybody at home, you only know because we may or may not have run through one once before, so that way he got it. Nothing? Okay. Do you know Extremer Ratio on the blade? Oh, you mean no extreme branding on the or, blade? Or HRC. Yeah. Some random <laughs> HRC on there. No, Now, they do still have their name on here. That's but all it's, right. But it's subtle. We don't mind. Less outlandish size. Thank you, Extreme Ratio, for listening. Okay? We really appreciate it. Mm. I like this blade for them. It's a good fixed tactical knife. I just I just like it because it's huge. But what about you, C? I wonder if you ever will let me talk. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind. You know that. Mm -hmm. Well. You know us women. I t <laughs> just keep shopping and shopping. <laughs> we cannot women be shopping. <laughs> okay. I actually like this knife a lot. This is what a... Yeah. Now I gotta let them hold it too. A camping or a hiking or anything outdoor knife should look like to me. This is what you. This is what you take. This. I mean, I could do anything with this. Yes. Oh yeah, and the shaving. Look, look, no. look at this. I know. Watch this. You know what you're not doing. You're not fighting to get it out. You don't have to go. You just take your fingers. Go pull. You got a knife. See, I like that. And guess what? I bet it doesn't fall out as we're walking because it has a double snap. snap. Okay. That, I mean, it is amazing how easy it like... is to make a nice knife. Don't do that. It's, it's, it's um, 300 bucks. I, I like wanna, that knife. I just want to <laughs> see. I just want to see if we can do it without the snaps. Oh, I bet you can. You should be careful Look about doing that. <laughs> I was being careful, dude. It's not a knife. I'm not messing up no knives. I like you know this what? knife. You know what? Next on the table is the Lion Steel H2 Backup Tactical Blade. It's like a woman. Tell her you like something and she wants to destroy drop it. Drop it. Just drop it. <laughs> Kidding. I'm actually going to put right. it straight through the table. <laughs> or maybe at his head, you know, like when they throw it at the... What's that thing called? A dartboard? Yeah. It jacket? Dart board. I don't know. Go ahead. You know what? <laughs> I think you should can it. Because <laughs> then we're really going to see what happens. So. All right. This carry is available in three different colors. Black, green, and brown canvas micarta. We, of course, have the green one here today. The Lion Steel H2, similar to the H1, were both designed by Tommaso Rumisi in collaboration with an Italian brand. Margarete. I'm not going to even attempt it because I'll botch it completely. This crambit is perfect for tactical self defense as well as operating as a useful utility tool. It is 7.24 inches overall with a 2.95 inch drop point 
Bowler M390 centered steel blade with jimping and is 0.15 inches thick and it sports a stone wash finish. The handle is green canvas micarta and contoured to fit your hand. That's nice. You see there. Alrighty. Yeah. If you held it the right way. I'm just kidding. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. You know That's always one of my favorite comments. Like There's also the iconic kick <laughs> rambit finger ring, which Joel just demonstrated properly. Black leather sheath, which allows for vertical or horizontal carry, okay. as well as a Molly system sheath. The entire outfit was made in the boot country. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. And could be yours for just, I didn't snap it because I don't want to. That's all right. Just $149.99 at landknife.com. Wow. Yeah. All right, so what do I think? Yeah. Nice sheath. Yeah. I like a thick double stitch sheath. <laughs> if it doesn't have a little double stitching, what is the point? There's no reason to have it. I mean, you know, I actually like this knife a lot. It, it looks like it'd be very useful karambit, it but it's nice. also one that, that you could use to do regular everyday tasks. I mean, I wouldn't carry it to work, you know, and be like, hey, could I open my mail? I would. But, yeah. Be at my desk. Well, you know what? what you doing, Joel? Opening my mail. You would do it. You would carry it here. Reverse so. kick. Yeah. Uh huh. Sense. I like it. Made in Italy, of course. Very mm -hmm. good. Very well balanced and sturdy. Reverse karambit grip works well. Mm -hmm. Blade steel is also very high quality, and I like the cut. It just looks cool. I know it's just you know a regular. I just like it on this one. I don't know why. Lots of carrying options and leather sheath. Mm -hmm. Everything goes with leather people especially violent teen murders they do go great with leather yeah, yeah. as well as you know clown makeup striped <laughs> shirts those all go good you know what else goes well with leather and striped shirts wow uh i don't know what our next knife the crudo along. cognito frame lock Wow, so you're on the specs this Am time. I? Yep. I wish I knew what they were. No oh, good. So this knife is 7.3 inch overall with a 3 inch 9CR18 MOB steel blade, which is 0.16 inch thick yep. with a satin finish or sateen. Sateen. There's also that. three deployment options. The black, the back flipper stud. Hold on. I'm Excuse waiting. Me. Okay. The top flipper. Top flipper. Hold on. I don't know if I can do it sideways like this. There, there you go. go. Good job. Okay. And you could open the blade the old fashioned way with the gigantic thumb wedge. <laughs> Either out the top, out in the open. <laughs> You're trying to out in the open. <laughs> out or in the open. Out of your pocket, which we would. Demonstration not included. Yeah, wave type, you know. I'm not doing that. Sorry. All right. Moving That's... on. This frame. <laughs> Lock? Is it a frame lock? Yes. yes. Is black sculpted 3CR13 MOV steel. So the frame. Mm -hmm. All right. As well as the reversible tip up pocket clip. Spacer is copper. That's a nice little touch. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's a nice amount of copper, too. Mm -hmm. Kind of like that. Lastly, this folder features a lanyard opening and was designed by Mr. Crudo himself. And with luck, you can find the Cognito. Onlandknife.com. For only 95 dollars <clears throat> 92 Yeah. That's right. You get it right. I think I'll let you go first again. I'll go first again. Well, as I have said before on this show. I'll say it again. And we ain't heard it in a while. Crudo is an acquired taste. It ain't over to the fat lady sinks. Yeah. It's a very nice knife. Some people <clears throat> will complain that the 9CR is not... $95 worthy, mm -hmm. but, and they also sometimes think it's overbuilt, too many opening ways, but there are people out there that like these knives. There's a lot of them. You'd be surprised. And I actually like this one. I don't like the front flipper part, but I like the look of it. I always I would like never how they do the it. grinding on the top. The rounded Oh, the rounded, spine. yeah. I, mean, I love It takes that. its time on this stuff. I mean, yeah. it's nice. I also, I actually think the multiple deployment, deployment options is good. They did make the front, the top flipper a little large. They made it just a little smaller. But mm -hmm. I like that there's something here for everyone because I don't like the front flipper. What well, has that friction folder look? Oh, fail. What? No. That, that uh, top piece coming out, that's kind of your friction folder. Yeah, look. except I think it's just too big. Yeah, I know you don't like it. Okay, great. But Jeez. that's kind of how they are. Oh, the knife is thick, the blade is no. thick, everything's so, big. 
I also like the copper spacer here. It's a nice touch as well as it doubles as a lantern hole. Gives a nice little extra oomph other than just the black, which is what they usually do. They usually do like a black and then maybe some carbon fiber sometimes. On the other hand, I have liked some of Mr. Crudo's past designs just a little more, mm -hmm. especially the vice. All right, don't get carried away any gambler. That's Hustler, at least to those who know me. <laughs> Okay. However, mm -hmm. I think this was a bold move on their part to do something different and bulky and kind of, I don't know, machined-like look. Yeah. What, what is this? <laughs> Gosh. It's, right. like, it's like the hand. All right. It works. Let's hit our way. next knife. The Boker Jive. And Jive. Only one option here, so yeah. we can't mess this up. <laughs> oh. As of right now. Let, let, let me get a crack at it. It's 7.17 inch overall with a 2.95 inch satin finish. Clip point D2 tool steel blade. No jimping, but nope. you can deploy this bad boy just fine with a det detachable dual sided thumb studs. Mm -hmm. Milled handle is titanium along with the deep carry tip up right carry pocket clip. Frame lock was designed by a full time American knife maker, Brian Efros. It also comes with a black nylon storage case. What? Yep, you can jive your way to a jive for just 106, 107, 96. You do it like ch ch and ch ch ch. I go George Jefferson. Oh. And Wheezy. I was doing it from when they do the dance. Did you? In Greece. Did you? Uh... LAKnife.com. There you go. There it is. Yeah. Okay, Give it to us. I'm obviously going to go first. Mm -hmm. I like the handle on this one a lot. The titanium is exceptionally nice touch, very smooth, very even. It's just, it's just nice. I also like the fatness of the clip point on this. It's like I got a big belly on it. I just like that look. Not crazy about the detachable thumb studs, let alone thumb studs themselves. See, what about you? Well, I'm actually they could have easily put a flipper on this. Yeah, they could have, but hey, you know. <clears throat> just say it louder. They don't. They don't want us to hide anything. Your Germany market. is not in this country. <laughs> well, neither is the. Yeah, well, true, but yeah. they make for lots of places. So, yeah. see how that goes. I actually like their offerings. Oh, did you see that? They are really doing just better. Swung down with their knives. Cut a chunk out of my oh. nail. That's At least it was just your very nail. smooth opening. I told this. you earlier, didn't I, how smooth that thing it was? It was like butter. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I'm barely touching it. So I'm, I'm, I like this knife. Be careful. Yeah. Knives will cut. Okay. A message it's from knife. Metro. Yeah. It cuts. Okay, that does bring us to the final knife. All right. The SE. Designed. Chirp. Oh, you want them? Yeah. I'll give them to you. Great, great. All right. Because I do, I do need them, and they're on all the way on your side of the table. Over all right, there. so these are available from one of our wholesalers. They come in three colors. They're designed by Essie. Yep. Black, green, and brown. And guess what? Black, green, and brown. We got all three. Yeah, I know. See, you stepping it up today. Mm. Nice. I try. I know. I know. Sometimes you do. So these handy little folders are 6.26 inch overall with a 2.63 inch D2 tool steel blade. Handle varies from black carbon fiber to brown, to brown micarta to green brown micarta. and a green. All right. The These liner lock sport lanyard holes and tip up stainless pocket clips. Best parts yet to come. <laughs> they are deployed with a nail neck. All right. So the pocket knives. Yeah. Yep. And start in at the budget friendly price of. Hold on to your seat. Wait for it. $23.84. Yeah. Should just ding it. We don't even have to say it. Adelandknife.com. There it is. Okay. I, say it. I like these little knives. There you go. It kind of reminds me of the um, QSP Parrot. Price range D2. Another one? I'm going to keep the carbon fiber one. This uh, liner lock that we have here will definitely appeal to our customers because uh, a lot of people like a larger liner lock so they can get it easy, especially mm -hmm. as they get a little bit older. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I like them for the price, okay? Mm -hmm. They aren't Essie's best, but if you want Essie's best, you got to fork out, what, $200? $300? Uh, yeah, $120. Something like that. Yeah. So these are definitely going to cut what you need. I like the carbon fiber one myself. 
Nail Nicks, a bit of an old school kind of deal breaker for me. I'm not crazy about Nail Nicks. And I would have liked to see maybe just a different color option because they kind of just do brown and green usually. Mm -hmm. The carbon fiber one's a nice surprise, but they could have done something, something else well, like I blue. I bet you if they sell, you'll see more. So I think they could have <laughs> done something to make it stand out a little more. But other than that, I think it's good, good budget friendly. Yeah, I'm on I these like too. Them. I like them also. All right. All right, guess what? What? <laughs> that is end uh, this week's episode before we reveal our favorites. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe as well as ringing the bell yeah. so you can dig up all of AK's content, old and new. And so you get entered in giveaways right now on AK's blog as well as YouTube. We're hosting the Mystery Kaiser Infinity Knife Giveaway. Yeah. Yep. So make sure to get on that before, well, you know. What? Before it's too late. <laughs> and we get dragged into a drain grate. <laughs> yeah, I do have a higher possibility of that having done to me than you. Yeah, why is that? Oh, yeah. So, favorite, <laughs> favorite go. That's why you wouldn't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite. Yep. What? It's the buck. Is it? It's the buck. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh my god, I knew we were going to do that. I'm so sorry. We just want to mention real quick that uh, Boker's got these new Quick Quakens. and Airs out. So mini they got and mini large. and large. <laughs> I you can't know believe that. Do you know why I just remembered that? Why? Because I was going to make that my favorite. <laughs> you cannot make the Boger Quick and Air because we're going to do it next week. We'll give you more in-depth stuff next All right, fine. Stuff next my favorite week. is the Buck, and it's because of the S45 VN. Unbelievable. I knew we were going to forget it. I'm like, maybe we should just give it's us It's all right. We'll go over next week. No big deal. No harm, okay. no foul. My favorite is going to be the Finch, I think. Is it? Yeah. That's my two. It was going to be three. the Boker... But then the dagger thing kind of threw me off. Mm -hmm. So I did a dagger last week. And this technically isn't a dagger, but I'm All sorry, right. I'm rambling. As always, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as hitting us up on the social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. For knife photos, AK reviews, deals, and more. Careful not to unfriend us. As always, I'm C, and this is... Jewel. Can't remember. Jewel. And we are signing off... Yeah, they wonder why I'm always angry at you.